Uh, good day from Australia. Um, today I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial on uh, my little gadget here which is a little mini compressor um, that I got from eBay for less than $20. It's for paint spraying but you can normally load paint in there and spray but what I've bought it for is just basically to blow paint so instead of because each time I use the um, straw to blow I get lightheaded <laughs> so uh, my son uses these in, in his uh, art spray uh, you know his airbrush spraying similar to it but a better thing but um, he advised me that this would be good for me so blows blows paint you can change the velocity at which the paint uh, which the air blows so a really good little tool it was under $30 off eBay so that's the little um, compressor part of it and it's got then the long uh, air tube I suppose it is but yeah so I'm just going to use it today to blow some paint around on my canvas and give you again another sort of easy abstract paintwork to do hopefully with the um, air compressor blowing paint around to make us all look like real real artists <laughs> okay I'm gonna put my um, I am gonna put my apron on for this one because of course when I first got it and I I didn't know how to that it turned up or down I blew paint from everywhere from yeah everywhere <laughs> all over the all over the place so um, until my son showed me how to turn it down a bit so that's what we're going to do today so okay what I'm gonna layer the canvas with is a peppermint a peppermint green again at the bottom of my video if you click on the little uh, V thing down there it'll have a drop down box and there'll be my pouring medium recipe and um, any more information and links to my um, Facebook art page if you want to join us there so okay I'm going to start with the pillar of paint so actually I might I might spread that to start with so I'm a believer in using the fingers instead of getting all your little tools out and twiddling but if you so desire because you're OCD or you need to um, do it perfect then do it that way or use a spatula spread a tool you can use anything you choose but I am choosing my fingers I might put it that way on this little I haven't put me um, giant push bins in this one so just spread all your paint so you've got all the surfaces covered and you don't have to worry so much well, not that I worry but um, covering your um, sides of your canvas so it's all spread nicely and this paint is when it's mixed with the pouring medium and it's made up it, it's kind of self-leveling I don't ever have a problem with it being chunky anywhere as long as um, it's given the time to settle and absorb into the canvas so it's all good it's all good uh, looking forward to some fun here and um, I'm sure uh, the US people probably get it even cheaper than that on Amazon or, or whatever um, than what I got that little compressor for. So I will kind of going to go with some um, unusual mix of colours as I normally do, but hoping that they uh, turn out. So I do want to do separate puddles so I can below the paint in separate areas so we'll do some puddle puddles first just randomly however your art uh, your art your uh, heart yeah your heart desires so 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 
go into this crazy so that was burnt umber they're all um, Montmartre paints today this is a flesh color I have done a video on custom making some custom paints because I do kind of like to mix a lot of my own colors um, it's just another part of the process that I really enjoy okie dokie um, add some navy in the mix Yeah, I might make a real big mess of this, but I will show you my failures and my triumphs. So I've mixed this was the brilliant red in the Montmartre and I added uh, that deep blue to take it a bit more kind of uh, blood red, russety colour. Yeah, I'm sure you're thinking what these colours that she's going to do now. She's some crazy woman, which I probably definitely am. So I'm going to go back to the uh, pepperminty colour that I put around and tr probably try and flood it with the pepperminty colour. It's not looking like I'll have enough paint to actually flood it, but hopefully there'll be a method in my madness. <laughs> can see I'm not too particular which um, obviously stresses some people out if you're cra uh, crazy at perfection and wanting things perfect um, that's not my style sorry okay just get rid of the last of that it'll just help uh, the more paint that's on as you sort of negative color will just help you paint um, move around when it's got the blower on it the jilly blower okay well that's got rid of that one not sure whether to do a very little drop this dark deep green in it didn't intend to but I will Ooh. Okay, let's go in. Okay, probably got to do this a little bit quicker or probably do smaller padules. Padules. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is scary. So this is my little blow tool. Oh, it'd be good if I had it the right way around. Okay. It blows, obviously normally um, for spray artists, they put their paint in that little thing, but I'm just using the air. So here goes. Now I'm getting a bit nervous. <laughs> okay, just go with it. Oh, this is quite fun to do. This is better than my balloon that I did earlier. I mean, not my balloon, my, um, I had the, um, what you call it, just a straw blowing. Yeah, just make sure you're probably not doing this on your, in your nice dining room table or kitchen because it can obviously end very badly. <laughs> So much easier than blowing through a straw. Do you know what? I'll probably put too much paint. I should have tilted that or put, put smaller pudules. But what we will we'll do is um, I will tilt this around. Definitely smaller puddles people, please learn by my mistake because you definitely don't need that much paint on this size canvas for sure. But I'll give it a bit of a tilt around. I mean it's coming out with some quite cool effects but I'm going to lose all that now because I've literally got way too much paint 
on this canvas. I should have just left one puddle and blown that. So, but I will find a way to um, redeem this canvas if it's the last thing I do. But anyway, that was my uh, first attempt on video. <laughs> I have tried it on the smaller version and it did work with a lot less paint and on a smaller canvas that I just tried it on. But um, not real good for you guys trying to show you what you can do with it. So okay, that looks nothing like the um, work that I wanted to achieve with this little air compressor. So you just learn by my mistakes. I'll make the mistakes. You can watch them and have a laugh. And then next time you just make sure you don't do the same as what Silly Jilly did. So just tilting it around. Not liking it. Not happy Jan at all. Not happy Jan. So right, Jan's my sister, but there's an ad in England that's Oh no, and I had in Australia an advertisement on the telly where Jan was the office girl and she forgot to order the yearly subscription into the yellow pages. So the office wondered why she was getting no calls. So poor old Jan got the sack, all the office were after her, and that's hence comes the saying, not happy Jan. Okay, that's definitely not looking like a paint blow. Okay, we've got to redeem ourselves here. Think, think, think. Jilly, think, 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 people. What would you do with that now? You could either leave it like that if you're happy with it, but I certainly am not. So I'm going to... It kind of looks like what it would look like when I do my swipes. So I'm going to get right in and do a swipe through it. I'm going to use the navy. I'm going to pour the through the center. This might turn out absolutely crap. Crappy doodles, but you got to give it a try. I can usually redeem. I usually get something out of a bad pour. So, here we go. So, I just want to show you that all is not lost and don't um yeah, have a tantrum. So, got the navy and I've got my swipey tool, which is just a plastic file divider sheet. <laughs> Look at that. Got the cells coming through straight away. So, it doesn't look as though I'd need to even. Um, torch that but I will I should stand the other side to do that so that was not real good of me I should take the time walk around this big table which I will now because I wasn't I've done the wrong thing there because that's why it's missed out and the paint might be drying a little bit because I've been um, working in I suppose so not Nothing that can't be redeemed. So considering it was supposed to be my blow, blow art, um, just have faith that you can always change it. Just as in life, you can change a bad situation into a good. And just look at that. That, again, these cells are perfect for the close photos for doing prints of. Um, like I said, you can use your print, uh, use your copy of your photo to make, um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, to, to get items, whether you want to print onto canvas, you can print your design onto cushion covers, onto, um, oh, so many things now. Again, like I just get my, iPhone and my and as I would do is just come down close on it again I wouldn't do it with the lights on so 
you can come down on a bunch of cells that you like look at that that is gorgeous gorgeous really nice so it's just an idea um, that I've done in a, a lot of other that you can get you just take your camera down to your cluster of cells you get a nice close-up photo I don't know if it's called high definition or macro I don't know those name I don't know but that is gorgeous and I'm really happy with that I haven't put the gun on it yet I will do but look at that that's beautiful I like it okay um, next step I will just take a photo of the whole of the canvas just in case it does go to pot to say what it looked like at that point was nice so just above it just taking a photo like I usually do of each stage so as if I get to a point and I don't you know don't like it after I've finished then I know what stage to stop at so I'm just gonna go over with my oh this torch is not oh okay there you go I know it's got plenty of cells at the moment but what the torch will do is usually send them into bigger cluster cells and that Ooh, it's quite a pretty one. Oh my goodness. I love where that red's coming through. And those cells, I'm going to leave that because that will develop. Hopefully I'll put some photographs on at the end of after it's stretched out a bit. But that's gorgeous. It wasn't what it was intended to be, the air gun. I will certainly do another video for you with just doing one puddle pour in it but look at that that's gorgeous when that those cells will stretch out I, I believe I haven't ever done it with the blown all that paint out and seen what happens but they're smaller cells than I normally get but they're really pretty so thank you all for watching sorry i stuffed up but i will try better next time but learn by my mistake and don't put so much paint puddle paint on you you can put the undercoat paint under uh, but then a small amount on the top to blow around thank you for watching thanks for subscribing so appreciative um yeah look out for my next video